A 20-year-old newlywed died after coming into contact with a deadly amoeba. Now her family is trying to raise awareness about this deadly organism that's difficult to diagnose. CBS2 Inland Empire reporter Tom Waite has the story. There it is. Video of Coral Reef just months before her death shows a happy and healthy young woman getting fit for her big day. Why? For what? The wedding. The young woman from Winchester married her high school sweetheart. Coral's life was falling perfectly into place. That is until Thanksgiving of 2013. We had never heard of Bellamuthia before. Coral's mother, Sybil Meister, says a rare amoeba called Balamuthia would change their family forever. She was having all of the typical symptoms of Balamuthia, the sensitivity to heat and light, the nausea, the vomiting, the headaches. By this past September, Coral's condition was grave, with a mass covering part of her brain. Doctors mistakenly thought it was cancer. The 20-year-old died in October. It was devastating. You know, it, cancer is bad enough, but the, the, the Balamuthi is, is worse. The family thinks Coral ingested the rare amoeba during a family trip to Lake Havasu, but no one can say for certain. According to the Centers for Disease Control, Balamuthia is a free-living amoeba that can infect the brain or spine. It can enter the body through wounds or cuts or even through dust that's inhaled. Coral's family says their goal now is to raise awareness and money for research. Team Coral Reef is now their cause. Our goal is to educate the public. Coral's family says her memory will live on, and in her passing, other lives will be saved. In Winchester, Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.